Hello, crafters, and welcome to this session of our P2P online craft show. My name is Wendy Stewart, and I'm delighted to bring you this session today. So as you know, the P2P, um, P, sorry, P2P presents this beautiful online craft show today and tomorrow. There's plenty of sessions coming up. For all further info, please go to our website, which is from picture to page and beyond.com.au. Now, I've been crafting with paper craft for about 30 years. I absolutely love it. It's given me lots of adventures, lots of things to learn, lots of things to create. But most importantly, it's given me a community. So we hope when you go to our website, you'll join our community. You'll sign up for our newsletter and then pop onto Facebook and join the Papercraft Posse, which is our online group, community group, where you can ask questions, share your artwork, and generally just be with like-minded people who all love doing the same thing. It is our pleasure to bring you this show. And if you're watching live, please say hello to us. Hi, Michelle, like Michelle has in the chat. Please leave us a comment, let us know you're here, share us with your crafty friends, and just generally just enjoy this presentation that we have for you. Now, I am absolutely delighted that I get to host the amazing Mel from Scrapbooking and Craft. So let's bring Mel on and say hello. Hi, Mel, how are you going? Hi, Wendy, good, and yourself? Very good, thank you. So there's lots of people popping on to say hello. Hi, Debbie, hi, Lorraine, hi, Christine. So I think everyone's excited for what you're about to show us. and. What have you got in store for us today, Mel? Well, we're going to be playing with some of my new stencils and sort of using them in three different ways to get more, more different, no, different, different looks, God, different Fantastic. looks from the same stencil. Absolutely. No, no, I get Words. you. It's oh. one of those days and the wind is just blowing a gale down here in Melbourne and it's all, you know, it's all fun and games, but no, that's fantastic. And I think stencils will come a long way, Mel, you know, from what we did at school and they've just over the last few years really taken off in art journaling and scrapbook pages and your cards and basically any craft, any paper craft you can think of, stencils have been the go-to thing. And if you can get more more uses out of a project, um, sure. a stencil, sorry, more different ways of using the same stencil, yes. you're getting more value for your money as well. So absolutely, you, you absolutely. just need to think a little out of the box and go, how can I use it a bit differently? And that's what you're here to teach us today. So I'm going to give you a moment to just yes. swap your camera over and we'll get going. Sure. So while Mel's getting ready, maybe grab a pen and paper and, you know, get ready to take some notes and tips. And if there's any questions, please pop them in the comments. Mel will try and answer them during the session or I'll prompt her live. Otherwise, she will go back after the session and answer them for you. So as soon as Mel gives me a thumbs up, I will bring her on. Are you ready, Mel? I think she is. So over to you, Mel. Yep. Thumbs up. <laughs> go for it. Thumbs up. Go for it. <laughs> I seriously need to clean my desk like all crafters. <laughs> I'm such down to a little space. You're good, um, you're good. So we have, so uh, basically I manufacture the products I sell on my website on 99% of them. So all the stencil designs, all the chipboard, the mixed media cardstock and the stamps I design and manufacture right here in Victoria. And then my daughter sells paper napkins on my website as well. Um, so you can find all of that on our website. So let's have a look at some of our new talk about the specials at the end let's sure hold that over so I've got some blackness so these are some of our new ones for uh, July what month are we we're in August but these were released <laughs> yes. in July so we've got some new faces um and then I've got some examples of using some of these stencils as well hopefully my words get better as we go along it's Friday it's all, you're <laughs> doing great had, Mel absolutely great had one of those weeks where you're just oh you plan your week and nothing goes right. So <laughs> what I've done also is a lot of mark making stencils. Okay. So if you're not confident in doing mark making on your page, you can just stencil little dots, stencil little lines, yes. and it takes um, takes that worry out of, will I get the lines right? Will they be nicely spaced, et cetera, like that. So there's sure. a bunch of little to do as well. And these ones are priced at normally $3. So they're really good value. Yeah. And then we've done some bigger um sort of more different oh, wow. designs, different, more intricate designs. I don't know where my designs come from. I sort of Google clip art and go, oh, that'll make a cool stencil. Um, and then I just make it. <laughs> so it, there's no rhyme or reason of what comes out in a new release. It's just what I'm liking at that moment or what I've found to, found to do. And this one I'm loving at the moment as well. This one's oh, got wow. some yeah, fantastic. great possibilities. And so I guess it would be these. like, you know, if you're looking for a stencil that you can't, you know, you don't have something, that's probably going to help you, you know, go and create something that you have been looking for. 
Yes, and I also get a lot of customer requests. So you can request, um, say, for an example. Oh, that's fantastic. That one. Um, say, for example, you like this one. At the moment, it's just under 8 inches in size. You can go, I'd really like that in a 12-inch size. I'd really like right. that smaller. So you can email me and um, the worst I can say is no, which is not usually sure. very often. <laughs> or if you have <laughs> <laughs> sometimes the world to get to it um or if you have your own design you can sketch it out or send me a clip art image and as long as i'm not infringing on trademark or copyright yes i can make just about anything well that's a fantastic oh. tip for all the crafters watching you know if they have anything that they've been conjuring up they just need to get in touch with you to make it a reality yes yeah, stenciling overload uh avalanche so these are a few of my art journal pages i've been playing around with stencils right. um so I'm going to show you a few few things I've been doing and then we'll do some um, demonstrating. Absolutely. So this is one of the techniques I'm going to show you that I'm sort of a bit obsessed at the moment. So it comes up very often and it's the second or third way to use your stencil. So you can get all these nice, bright, different designs. And when I show you the stencil and when I show you this design, you'll go, oh, how did you get that? <laughs> what else have I got in this book? Oh, this is another one I've been playing around with. A lot of these are on my Facebook page. If you want to see close up pictures, yeah. this one's not yet. It's coming up, I think, next week. Okay. Um, so again, just playing with the different stencils and um, just playing around. Good for um, de-stressing, as they say. I love how vibrant your pages are, Mel. I'm, I'm loving rainbow colours. I'm not really a heritagey person. Um, sure. I'm more like bright colours and loud things. Oh, I love, yeah. So yeah, this no, is I one of the base stencils. Um, this is actually coming out in an online class um, by the end of next week. It was okay. supposed to be released this week, but that just didn't happen. So I'm going to start doing some online classes as well where you purchase a kit and then you get a video link to show. Okay. Uh, to show you how to do the class. That one I've already showed you. Sometimes I've got things double done in my art journal because yes. I do the page once and then I teach a class and I do it again. Fair enough. What else have we got in here? Oh, this is a couple more of the faces. So this is another um, of the what we first stenciling or the um, – that was a fun page we did at the last retreat I was at. This is using some of the faces, stencils that we've got released. So this is actually done with alcohol inks in my art okay. journal and just using the face part of the stencil and then making up your own hair. So when you look it. at a stencil, you don't necessarily have to use that example, it's black. Um, don't necessarily have to use the entire stencil. So I've just used the face sure. and then made up my own hair. And then I decided I want to doodle in the hair but I didn't want to wreck my original page. So I took it to my photocopy and made a copy and that's what's it. on top. It's doodling and putting things in the yes. hair. Yes, yes. My photocopier gets a real workout. <laughs> I throw everything on it. Fantastic. What's this one? Um, this is another one of the techniques oh. here using the stencil in a sort of a backwards way um, yes. than we normally do. So I'll show you that in a minute. A couple more and then we'll get on to demonstrating. Absolutely, Mel, absolutely. This one is another one using just the features of the face um not sure what i'm going to do with this one yet okay. i it's done with watercolor and accidentally dumped my cup of water on it so i've got to go in and repaint the colors right, right. yeah dumping water on top of watercolors is not a good idea yeah, possibly not <laughs> not the greatest idea so i'm a bit upset with that page at the moment so well, i think it looks really cool so. <laughs> um, um oh this one i haven't finished either. um i don't know what i'm going to do with the hair but this is another with stenciling Yes. Stenciling just adds so much graphic, graphic, a graphic look or a graphicness to your page. Yes. And it means you don't have to draw. You can just draw through your stencils and make some really fun for stuff. For sure, for sure. Love and playing with magazine folders. Absolutely. Not all of us like to draw or want to draw. So, you know. No. And this one's adding to her clothing using stencils as well. So it's altering things, um, which is quite fun as well. So stencils are um, quite fun to play with. So I love the bold, the black and white and the boldness yes. of what you can get with a stencil too. Wonderful. Absolutely fantastic work, okay. Mel. Oh, thank you. Which one? That's the second one. Sorry, grabbing which Look book I'm doing, which thing using journals. Wow. <laughs> yeah, don't ask me how many journals I have open and on the Nobody go. Nobody needs to answer that question uh, ever. No, <laughs> that one's ever, a secret. Ever. Okay, I'm going to grab this one. Um, I work in a lot of altered books as well. So yes. when you're teaching, you sort of have to have the example in one book and then demoing in another book. Absolutely. Um, yeah, we understand. So that's yeah. my excuse and I'm sticking to it. <laughs> you go for it, Mel. So traditionally with a stencil, you pick up a plastic stencil, you pop it on yes. your page yes. and you put paint through it. So that's sort of number one way to do a stencil. But yes. I'll show you the best way to get 
the best look, especially with these finer ones. Oh, wonderful. What I like to do is I like to use makeup sponges because they're quite thick and um, they're quite absorbent to the paint. Okay. I've just got some Dina Wakely black paint. The thicker your paint, the better it is because if with a more liquid paint, it's going to seep underneath and muck up your design. Right. Yeah. So I've just got, so I'm going to put, I don't know what you can see, you can see. Yes. Don't can. just put your sponge directly into your paint and have a big blob on top of the sponge. What you've got to do is work that paint into the sponge. So you're going to take it off to the side and dab, 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 dab. So it almost looks like there's none there. Trust me, there's plenty in there. And then, um, so a traditional way to do stencils is we just go up and down and put pattern through, oops, pattern through our stencil. You can take your stencil down if you so wish. I tend to not do that because that's okay. one more step I have to do. And I just, I'm lazy. <laughs> And again, when I go to pick up more paint, I'm just going to um, dab it off the side. So I can hold my fingers down and yes. put my stencil, see where I haven't got the best look. So this is the way most people use their stencils. Yes. And um, you can get great looks from it, but I'm going to show you a couple of different ways too. Um, and Mel, I assume you're not, you're not um, dabbing really, you know, you're dabbing gently, not putting too much pressure on there. No, and you're going an up and down motion. You don't want to go yes. side to side because some people get the Tim Holtz Distress wooden tools and yes. I've got nothing against those tools. Yes. I personally don't like them. Um, and people go round and round. And when you're going round and round, you're sort of moving the stencil and it's got more of um, an opportunity for the paint to creep underneath. Sure, sure. So if you're just going up and down, the paint tends to stay where it's supposed to stay and you can get. And the less paint you have on your sponge, the better the stenciling is. So that's a really good... Yeah. And I think um, everyone's got to find, you know, what they're comfortable with, whether it's the sponge or the Tim Holtz tool. Whatever, yeah. whatever works and for if, you is what works for you. So, And the great thing about the sponge is if you want to change colour, this is my lazy way of doing it, you can wash them out. <laughs> I, I just it. come and snip. I love it. And now I've got a new sponge. Throw that there little bit go. out. <laughs> or they get old and crusty when you leave them on your table for a while. Oh, they do. Um, they do. So, yes. <laughs> they do. So traditionally that's the... Um, the, sort of the typical way most people stencil, but there's a second and third way I'm going to show you today. So I'm going to pop that journal away. Fantastic. I'll finish that page eventually. Half my journals are filled with half finished pages. Now I've just got to find the page in here I was going to work on. Really? I should have marked it. I didn't. Oh, you get to have a quick flip through. Yeah, we get a flip through. It's all good. <laughs> you do. Oh, the page is here somewhere. It's got paint on already. I thought let's it's throw more paint on It's together or something, you know, just hiding oh, from probably the Probably is. Oh, no, it's not even that book. Really? Seriously. <laughs> this one. This book is actually split go. in two because I've got too much good. in it. You're good. You're I good. did mark it. Oh, there you there, go. See, you were organised. The reason I grabbed this other book is this one's nearly near the end, so I needed that one to prop it up. Absolutely. That's why I grabbed that other book. And that's a really good tip for everybody watching as well, to use, you know, use another book or a journal to make, make it all even so that you have don't have any trouble working in your in your journal or page or whatever you're doing. Especially when you're working in like the front few pages or the back few pages, you've got all yes. this, excuse me, bulk on one side and I just slip something else that's as big underneath it. Um, so basically this page has just got some used um, paint that I've put through a stencil and used um, paint up. So I'm just going right. to put a little bit more paint on top and then okay. we're going to do what we call reverse stenciling. Um, so the second way, let's see if my paints will work. So this particular technique will only work, I'm going to use my fingers, on a non-porous surface. So on a surface that A, has paint on it beforehand yes. or has gesso on it. You can't do this on raw paper because what right. we're actually going to do is put our stencil down and remove paint through our stencil. Okay. So I just need some. This is raw paper in my book with a bit of stenciling over the top. So I've just got to put a barrier, either a paint or gesso. It can be right. clear gesso, white gesso. Or paint and then we're going to put a color on top just need to give that a quick buzz dry I like the colors you've chosen mel great colors it's actually funny i don't like the color green but lately i've been doing a lot of green okay. things um, Sorry, just looking for my baby wipes. Got to have baby wipes handy for this technique, so grab a couple of those out. You don't want your baby wipes sopping wet or really dry. You want them sort of just just moist. Just right. 
<laughs> just right, yes. So that is almost dry. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab a paintbrush. I'm going to use this black I've got on my side here. So we're going to need some more black. Um, going to basically where we want to do our stenciling, we're going to paint over our surface. So we are going to end up with some black lines over this green and this green is going to show through. So we don't want a very thick layer of paint. And when you do this technique to people, they go, oh, what are you doing colouring up, covering <laughs> up all your page? They get a bit scared. Oh, it's lovely to see their facial reactions in person when you <laughs> do this technique. Then we're going to grab the stencil. Lay the stencil on top. Yes. So before your paint dries, you are going to take your baby wipe and wipe the paint out of the holes. So the paint underneath the stencil is where it is. Keep moving your baby wipe around so you're not just wiping paint on top of paint. My fingers are getting in the way. So keep moving your baby wipe around. And as you can see, you don't wipe it off 100%, but you wipe it off enough to make a really cool design. Absolutely. So just keep moving that baby wipe around or grab a fresh one. And then when I peel this off, Ta -da. you've got a second design. So instead of having, where did I throw that book? So out of this one stencil, we've yes. now got two different looks. Absolutely. So this is really cool to do. Oh, just put black all over that. Um, what we call reverse stenciling or I suppose it is reverse stenciling because you're removing the paint. Sure. So let's do a little bit over here. And it just gives so it. So this is really good if you. Sorry. Yep. Sorry. No, I'm just saying it gives us such a different, unique look using both the techniques. So, you know, doing both, do, you can do it both ways on the same layout or page or whatever you want to do. Yes. And this technique works better with what I call holy or lacy stencils. Okay. It doesn't work. I'm going to end up covering black stuff. <laughs> what's new? It doesn't work. There's a stencil avalanche again. It doesn't work particularly well with this type of stencil. See how we've got all this stencil plastic here? Yes. When you wipe it off, you're just going to have these holes of colour and all the paint underneath, so it doesn't oh, look as nice. Right. Okay. The more the lacier, or as I call it, the lacier design in your stencil, the better this technique works. Yeah, good, good to know that, you know, it's better with a finer stencil or a finer design stencil. Yes. So the more holes a stencil has, the better it is. Sure, sure. So again, just taking your baby wipe and Absolutely. and in saying that, the stencils just you have to be a bit more gentle because you're a bit more fragile. But yeah, the the um the look you get by doing this is really cool. It's almost yes. as if you've taken the stencil and used it as a stamp. So you're using it in sort of a second way. Absolutely. And that's the beginnings of that page. Now, the third way I like to use a stencil is a bit more time consuming. Yes. So if you like the Zen tangling and doodling around, you'll like this next technique. You don't like that particular um, part of art journaling, and some people don't. Um, this next may not be for you. It's a bit time and consuming, okay. but I like it. And that's okay. Yes. Okay, let me get this out of here. Running out of spots to put stuff. <laughs> um, I have You've got to let it dry hard. now, Mel. I do. <laughs> Hence why I have so many journals I work in because always Very something true. is drying. Just going to make sure I have no black on my fingers. Put that away there. Let me clean up that black because my arm's about to go in that Absolutely. paint. I just know it. Absolutely. Well, there's lots of people saying hello to you. There's <laughs> Naomi and Des Desiree. I hope I said your name right. And Louise. So hello from all of us here. Hello, everyone. I've been a bit slack on my social media lately, not doing as many lives. It's just start of the week I go, right, I'll do a live on that day and then life happens and you just don't get to it. So Absolutely. I've been a bit quiet lately. I apologise. No, it's all good. Life so happens again, to all of us. Oh, I just, I'm just over life at the moment. That's why I said we need a holiday. Where to put those other, okay. Just going to swap to one of my older stencils because this is an easier stencil for me to do from a okay. distance. Yes. So if anyone doesn't know me, um, I actually have quite low vision. I'm not allowed to drive. So often when I'm art journaling, I have to have my head really close to my page, sure. which for filming purposes, you get a big picture of my head and nothing else. <laughs> um, <laughs> so hence why I swapped to this stencil because it's the easiest stencil from a distance. Got it. And yeah, you won't see my good. big head. 
So we're going to grab some Posca, uh, some paint pens and just some, um, um, some normal pens, normal, abnormal pens, normal pens. Um, so basically this is just some extra paint I've smushed on a page when I was doing something. So I okay. pulled this out to use. Um, so this is the technique that I did on the rainbow pages. Which All is right. in and did you gesso those pages first, Mel, before you put the colour on it? Um, no, these no. ones haven't been crash. These ones haven't been gessoed. Um, it is just a bit of watered down acrylic paint. So we're going right. to do this technique here with this stencil. Oh, okay, lovely. Um, this come about as I had a art journal page I didn't like, and then I decided to attack it and did some mountains, and this technique sort of grew out of that. Oh, so it was a bit of an accident, and then I really like it. Perfect. So what we're going to do is we're going to draw through our stencil. So we're going to draw. Let's just draw a couple of mountains on here, and then we can do it in a couple of different spots. So I'm just freehanding a mountain. Yes. So I know where to put my stenciling. So I'm going to lay my stencil over the top and I'm just basically going to draw through the holes. As I said, this one's a bit more time consuming, but if you put in the effort, you get really cool results. So Absolutely. I can have my diamonds going up. I can have my diamonds going across. I think going up better. So we're going to do them up. So I'm just going to draw through. I won't make you sit and watch the entire page get done. No, that's Oops. okay. I'll just do a fraction of it and show you that technique. Absolutely. So it doesn't matter if you're a bit messy. You can do this in pencil if you wanted to. The reason yes. I do it in pen is oh, I just don't like pencils because I just do it in pen. You're going to cover a lot of this up with um, paint pen anyway. So if you make a mistake, which I may do right? because I'm struggling to see what I'm doing, but that's okay. Um, you can cover it up with paint pen. Yeah, I just went into the next section. I said usually my head's closer to my page when I'm doing this, but we'll work with that. You don't want to see the top of my head and all my grey hairs. <laughs> Mel, whatever is comfortable for you, I'm sure everybody watching would be totally fine with. Well, the people that watch my lives often see my head coming to shot, but I'm trying to get better. Um, so basically I would continue all across my mountain doing my, um, just drawing around my stencil and I've done a whoopsie here. It doesn't matter. I'll fix that up in a second. Right. And now what we're going to do, so traditionally you take a stencil and you colour in the diamonds. Yes. We're actually going to colour in the negative space. Okay. So we're actually going to go through and colour. This is why I did the diamonds because it's quite easy for me to do from a distance. And it doesn't matter if your lines are wiggly. So I'm actually going to colour the negative space and then your diamonds are going to stay that background colour. Love it. So this gives you a different look. It's as if you've taken your stencil and stuck it on because the colour that you're putting in is actually the lines of the stencil. Got it. Clear as mud, right? Yep. I get it. So if I'm you make sure it into... <laughs> I'm sure the others watching get it too, Mel. You're doing a great job of explaining it. I know. Sometimes my ideas are a bit weird. Um, but that's all right. They give you really oh, cool weird coverage. Weird is good. And I'm actually weird. using... A, this is a paint pen from Kmart. Um, I like trying out um, more affordable things. I love Posca paint pens and they're yes. fantastic, but yes. I choose for them like anything. So these ones from Kmart are really good. And you need a nice thick one for this technique because okay. then you can do it really quickly. Um, so, yeah, the Kmart pen was me of how good they were. Fantastic. I mean, I love my Poscas, but I also love Life of Colour which is an Aussie brand, which is fantastic as well. So, I've tried Life of Colour. Um, it's just I don't know whether I'm doing it the wrong way or what I'm doing, but personally I, um, I don't like to knock other companies, but personally I don't oh. like them. I just find they're a bit, the tip's a bit harder than a Posca pen, like a bit more scratchy. I don't know. Maybe it's me. Okay. Maybe it's user error. <laughs> no. I, we've, all, um... we've all got to find what we're comfortable with. You know, I love both those brands, so, you know. Have, you do, I'm, and if be... you find that you like a brand, you stick with it. If you don't Absolutely. like the brand, you obviously go find something else. Yeah. So and to be honest, I haven't, more... I haven't tried a Kmart pen, so, you know, I'll, I'll add that, that to the list of what Kmart will tell me to buy the next time I visit. <laughs> well, they sort of come out and I thought, oh, yeah, Kmart, Kmart, Kmart art stuff is hit and miss. Sometimes it's good stuff, sometimes Very it's true. not because obviously Very it's not true. the cheaper side. But 
um, I thought for a little bit of money I'll try it and I was actually quite surprised. Very good. Awesome. So then you just continue your um, continue your pattern across and eventually your page will look something like I'm trying to find it now. It look something like this. Wonderful. So that's basically how this page was created. I yes. paint sections with acrylic paint. Yes. Took all my stencils and a lot of these are the new stencils. So this red bit in here is Lovely. this this stencil and just repeated it. Um, what I tend to do is the same colour, I will stencil the same design just to give it a bit of more con continuity. Sure, sure. Yes. And um, did you say that so this, it, um, sorry, I beg your pardon, Mel. Did you say that this page was, come? you're going to release it on your Facebook page soon or? The, the pictures of this one, yes, will go yes. up next week. Um, wonderful, wonderful. I just have, haven't released this one yet. No, um, and a lot of the others are up there and they're also on my Instagram page as well. Some of the um, some of them I do live and you'll then get the video on Facebook or right. on YouTube as well. Yes. Um, so I transfer them across to YouTube. Um, something like this, it's hard to do in a live because this may have taken me, took me over about a week of just sitting and sitting for 10 minutes Absolutely. and doing a bit more and coming Absolutely. back and doing a bit more. Um, so they're great pages to have set up in your book. If you're only got 10 minutes, you want to sit down and do something, you can just sit down and do some scribbling Definitely. or do some um, more adding of your of your designs until you're finished. And then these are just a couple of magazine images and some word stickers that were like 20 years old that I used up. Yay. <laughs> that was Yay, good. getting through your stash. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I love it. So this one I'll finish off probably tonight while I'm watching or this afternoon while I'm watching some other presenters and then I'll probably stick some people or something up in the top Lovely. Um, and sort of finish it off. Wonderful. How are we going for time? Yeah, we're nearly at the end of our time, so I might give you a moment to swap your cameras and I'll come back to you. Okay, not a problem. Thank you. Wasn't that amazing? Such simple and effective ideas to create the most beautiful artwork. And it doesn't have to be in an art journal page. You can do it on a scrapbook layout, on a card, whatever floats your boat, you can do it. So I think Mel's ready for us to come back to her. So let me just bring her back on, please. Mel, that was fantastic. Thank you so much. That's great. Sometimes some simple techniques that you haven't thought of before, even though they sound simple, they make really effective designs. And I've um, some of the classes I teach, people actually, it's an art journal class, and then people will turn it into a scrapbook page because they're not an art journaler, or they'll turn it into cards because they don't do art journaling or scrapbooking. Yeah, so sure. the same technique you can transfer across. I was really impressed with what the last presenter did. Was it Jenny? Jenny, um, yeah. When she took the scrapbook page, the Definitely. card and then the art journal page you go oh what a good idea I'd never thought of that and it's like such a simple idea but it it really, Mel, really so works. we're only seeing Sorry, we're, we're not seeing you. all of you so if we could just get you to move your camera so we could there you go now we can see you no you're good you're Sorry. good you were good perfect thank you <laughs> sorry I didn't want to interrupt your train of thought but yeah wasn't it an amazing thing that Jenny took one technique one palette and made three different projects with it same thing you can do with what you're teaching us today yeah, with the stencils, they can transfer across to any paper craft, really. Definitely. Um, so on our website until Monday, we have a sale on. So we've got 15% yes. off all our items except for the sale category. That's the only category not yes. on the sale. Yes. Twister. But in the sale category, we have an overstock category. Okay. I've discovered certain shapes I have too many of. Don't ask me why. <laughs> okay. Not because Jenny Hillbilly orders something and then there's a little piece of space on the the, the the cutting Understand. material and I don't like to waste anything so I cut little things and Love I end it. up with 20 of them okay, so then. I've got an overstock section in the sale section that's 30 percent off so some items are limited some have lots it just depends okay. on what I have I'll be adding to that section as I sort more products and file okay. them away where they're supposed to go so for, I think for everything, <laughs> everyone just needs to go to your website and have a good look and see what you have and what's what's coming up and what's on sale and what's in the extra made, I made extra section. You never know what you'll find and yeah, I'm sure you'll get yourself some lovely products. Well, it's been absolutely yes. lovely for me to host you today, Mel. Absolutely beautiful products. So many great ideas. Thank you so much for your time and your inspiration. And I think the weather held off long enough for us to get through this session. Yes. And I'll be back on tomorrow at 2 p.m. working with our mixed media embellishments. So, Fantastic. again, a product that can go art journaling, card making, scrapbooking. So Absolutely. That would be fun well, as well. 
Thank you so much, Mel. So it's time for me to say goodbye to you. So thank you again, and we'll talk to you soon. Bye. Wasn't that incredible, everybody? I hope you got a bit of inspiration and I hope you go and grab out your journals and a pen and some stencils and go and have some arty fun. So my name is Wendy Stewart. I have loved bringing you this session. There's plenty more coming up. Please go to our website from picture to page and beyond.com.au. The sessions for the rest of today and tomorrow, all the information is on there. Don't forget, sign up for the newsletter so you know what's coming with picture to page for all our online shows, for our in-person shows and everything you need. Don't forget Papercraft Posse is our Facebook group. Come on in, join the fun, share arty love with, you know, all people who like doing things, get some ideas, get some inspiration. So it's been a wonderful session for me. I've loved bringing it to you. And as I always say before I sign off, please have some arty, arty crafty time this weekend and be kind to yourselves always. Bye for now and I'll see you soon.